Tennis Channel Live will be focusing in on Memphis this weekend. Our coverage there will begin with quarterfinal play on Friday. 28, field and, uh, 28 men in the field, 10 are Americans, including two of the tallest in the sport. And with more on that, our tennis story presented by Tennis Express. Here's Leif Shiras. Measuring in at nearly six foot 11, veteran John Isner and young American Riley Opelka both look right at home on a basketball court. Oh, God. But it's on this court that the big man of the present and the big man of the future work to perfect their own brand of power tennis. I came here to Saddlebrook today to hit with John. Just kind of gives me a good idea of where I'm at with my level. Obviously playing with a guy with a similar frame as me and guy that's top 20 in the world and been the number one American. It's great to have him as a resource for myself. I first met Riley, I believe, about two years ago. I think it's very important to be able to work with uh, the, the younger generation of, of American players. and It's a neat spot for me to be in. Guys like him and James Blake and Roddick had the biggest impact on my tennis because like, they were such great competitors. Seeing John as tough of a competitor as he is, I mean, he's one of the best in the world. Big man tennis is a uh, serving for him. He's just a very natural tennis player. Obviously, he's a very big guy, but he has so much skill as well. I mean, he's got a lot of variety in his game. Of course, his serve is always going to be his best shot. On top of that, he's got a very, very pure backhand. Hits the ball extremely clean from the back of the court. He just has a ton of room to grow. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to move and chase down as many balls as a guy foot shorter than me. Sometimes it might not be the most pretty, but at the end of the day, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. From when I was 19 uh, years old, there's, there's no comparison. I wasn't nearly uh, as good as Riley, um, not even close. I was a uh, freshman in college, and. He obviously chose uh, not, not to go the college route, which I think is a wise decision because he's an incredible talent. I definitely visited the whole idea of going to college. I had narrowed it down to, between University of Florida and USC. From that point, the decision made itself, in my opinion. I had good results. I've always wanted to play professional tennis, and you know the opportunity was there. The most important thing I've told him is, is to be very patient because as such a big guy, it is going to take longer for you to uh, develop as a player. Easily be a case where he's playing his best tennis at you know, 24, 25, so it may take some time. But the fact that he's sitting at 200 in the world at 19 is uh, pretty remarkable in my opinion. He's going to be a mainstay on the ATP Tour for sure. He's going to be a threat at, at every single tournament he plays. This year my goal is to stay healthy, play a full full schedule. Some, I mean, I missed out on a lot of tournaments last year. Long term, I want to be competing for the number one American spot. I mean, I want to play Davis Cup for the U.S. and, uh, and just kind of be up there at that level. It's a great tennis story, yeah. and Justin, I'm sitting here thinking, John Isner is very smart. He made a great yeah. point there right at the end. When John Isner was 19, he was playing college tennis, yeah. and he played four years of it. And Riley Opelka has chosen to go the professional route, but we've seen this time and time again in all sports. The taller players, taller people, it takes longer, doesn't it? Yeah, but he, Riley's game, as yeah. John acknowledged, is yeah. so much further evolved and developed than John's was at that, at that time. John mm -hmm. needed the time, needed the reps in college. The fact that Riley and that whole generation of players uh, have turned pro, uh, TFO and Kozlov, Fritz. Uh, Donaldson, Fritz, right. um, they're all good enough, and, it, and it's been revealed quickly. I mean, they're all about in the top 200. Noah Rubin went to college for one year, um, but the fact the fact that Opelka's game, and he's able to be competitive, and I actually saw the, the match in Australia, actually, I believe. Against Gofan? Yeah, the fact, playing that type of player, a great mover, a great defender, a best out of five sets in a major after qualifying. But Didn't, to take him to five that's sets. That's my point, and he had numerous break points to go up a break late in the fifth. So at this stage of his career, to be that far along in his development is a great sign. And but, I think there is still some room for improvement some, in like, his serve. Some, like, hold on, go through some. This big, yeah. this big. That's, that's but, the I mean, best his serve is great I already, but I still think there's room, and his backhand is very solid. Yeah, his backhand is good, but I mean, in terms of, if you compare his game to John, the fundamentals, I mean, even his movement, the return to serve, it's so much further evolved. And yet, you look at where John 
is and what he's accomplished. I mean, it, it's phenomenal. The forehand as well. I think the, the forehand, he's got a big, big room to improve on the forehand. If you compare his forehand to John, there's, there's a big gap there. He's got to stay healthy. Yeah, he's that's already huge, had a yeah. couple of stress, not reactions, but stress, a reaction yeah. and maybe a stress fracture in his foot yeah. because he's so big. Yeah. And rather than comparing Opelka to Isner, Opelka to his peers, it sounds like patience, right? Be a little patient. Yeah, little definitely. It's, it's a more right. complicated right. game. There's no doubt. I mean, when you look at other generations of American players that have had huge success, I mean, Michael Chang broke through before Sampras. His game was more simple, based on movement, ground strokes, repetition. So it does take a little bit more time. But if he stays healthy, he's going to be an absolute superstar in the sport.